This is episode 71 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 27th, 2021. Chris, Charlie, and Steve hope you had a very Merry Christmas. In this week's show, we review four craft beers from San Diego's Emboldened Beer Company. The first is a pale ale, then a hazy IPA, followed by a double hazy IPA, and then we finish up with a West Coast IPA. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. You can do that over again. I can do that over again. <laughs> this is the Podcast Beer Show. <laughs> I'm your host, Chris. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Here's your other host, Charlie. Thank you so much. Tech guy, Steve. Good presence. Steve Arito. And we're back to uh, Single Brewery, gentlemen. Yay. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to hit it hard on one row. We are. We're going to hit a uh, local local brewery here, uh, Emboldened uh, Beer Company. I'd never been there before. Nor had I. I had not. Uh, we were uh, we were in that neck of the woods, and uh, we stopped by. Had a had a quick taster. Yeah. Ooh, man, <laughs> it smells so good. Where are they at? Miramar. Miramar. They're, yeah, kind of Miramar, uh, Sorrento Valley, kind of right off the. Um, Right off the 805, kind of north. Um, gosh, they were, they, um, dude, this lot We is got fantastic. there at about probably 2 30 on Thursday. Right around there. Um, I'm going to sneeze, so. <laughs> ah. Super cool space. The, Excuse uh, me. Super cool space. The space used to be, um, uh, 32 North. Oh, okay. Was the, uh, um, the original brewery that was in the, in the, in the space. And I'd never been to 32 North either, so there you go. Oh, it's I'd been great. there a long time ago. How's it really, really Look at good. Chris, you didn't get enough. <laughs> <That's a splash. laughs> That's great. Yeah. Probably my uh, cutting into your beer. Palate cleanser. Mm. Yeah. It smells great. Oh, that, uh, it's it's tasty, tasty, man. Yeah, it was really good. So that's our first one, the Beyond uh, the Beyond Borders uh, Baja Lager. So they're classic, they're classic Mexican lager. Um, comes in at. Four and a half percent. Yeah, it's good. I, that's definitely a good drinker. Yeah, wow. Nice can art, too. Got a little Presidio, got the Bay. Mm-hmm. All their wraps are pretty decent. Oh, and on the bottom, they got what? Looks like Tijuana stuff. What? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it's an upside downer? No, that one's not. Hmm. Let me see that. Let me check that out. Oh, wow. That's kind of that's kind of neat. So we um, we just dropped in real quick. Uh, we, we had a taster. <clears throat> and um, it was uh, you got that juicy uh, IPA or something. I did. They had this juicy Citra. It was oh, like a hazy was. Citra IPA. I would. I would. Uh, um, well, let's start off with what was the best beer you drank this week, Charlie? Um, I had some Thorn Lager. Pretty doggone good in this uh, category. Pretty, pretty doggone good. So I mean, it's. I don't, I don't know that it's it's. It's not the greatest one I ever drank, but it's it was it was good. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I, did you guys have this one when you were there? I did. No, I did. No, I did not. I had the Kolsch. You had the Kolsch, yeah. yeah. And I, I had have that in cans. I had a hazy, mm. um, like a a Citra hazy. It didn't say um, it was hazy though. They just said it was they, a Citra, juicy Citra. Is that what it was? IPA. Juicy Citra. Hmm. And it it looked really good to me. I mean. Can't imagine it not being good, but uh, yeah, this is this lager is outstanding in my personal opinion. But uh, yeah, the, the Thorn Street was awesome. The beers um, they've kind of exploded, you know. They're they're in a big place now, not their little uh, hmm. neighborhood hmm. shack that they used to be in. Is that where you went? Was to the? No, no, I picked it up at uh, <laughs> Beverages and More. I was over there looking for something for uh, somebody for Christmas, so I had to stop in there. Hmm. Simply Citra was the beer that Simply I did, Citra. which is their uh, single hop IPA. It was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and Bolden, all of these beers that we're drinking today were available in their cooler. Mm. Um, they're uh, and they're relatively inexpensive. Like yeah, uh, um, like four pack of lagers was like eleven ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the I got a mixed six pack that right. was um, 
the two double IPAs, two and or two, two double of hazies, hazies, right here, uh, mm -hmm. two hazies, and then two West Coast IPAs uh, for like sixteen ninety nine. That's uh, really a good. six pack. Yeah, a six pack. Because usually it's sixteen for four. Yeah, for right. four. So yeah. Right. It was definitely yeah, so or, or more. Yeah. You know, or going north yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. So like they were um and yeah, I, it's a rarity I've seen in Bolden in stores. I just saw one of these popped up oh, uh, over at Valley Farms. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, no, one, I didn't see. Just one. I I didn't I didn't actually go over there and see how many of them they they had on. Well, that's the thing. It's uh, I seen them there before too, but just one can. So mm -hmm. I was like, "Man, you know, I'll try it." Yeah, they have a they have a lot of beers on tap. It's a beautiful uh, beautiful mm -hmm. place, but they have um, a couple of different uh, you know a, a, a lager, a pilsner, Kolsch. We're going into number two. Uh, which, which one is this? This is uh, Hidden Paradise. Yeah, it's their hazy IPA with Vic Secret, Wyoman, Citra hops. Um, what was your favorite beer again? Oh, for this week? Yeah, yeah. Um, I went back. To that Trappist Monastery. That's yeah, in, yeah. It's, tell it's us in about that. Pennsylvania, called Spencer. Um, I, I wonder why you went there. Because my son's name is Spencer, yeah. so I bought it. <laughs> but then um, they sent me something where they had like free shipping and five percent off or something like that. So I basically bought every beer they have. Um, and uh, the one I really enjoyed so far is the Winter Warmer. It's an amber lager uh -huh. brewed with honey and spice. So it's a basically nice. a winter winter ale, winter lager, I guess. So. Some of those Belgians get a little uh, different taste. Yep. I mean, the lager's probably not going to have any different yeah. taste, but I mean, just well, just if, adding the honey and the spice made it. Yeah, but unique. I mean, just uh, I'm talking about like their quads and all yeah, that it'll stuff. It'll be interesting to try them because it's just a, the yeast that they use and stuff is different and mm -hmm. it's it's really unique. I mean, I, some of it is fantastic. Then there's other things that I can't really drink that much of. Mm -hmm. Steve, what's the name of that brewery? Or the Spencer. Spencer. Spelt just like Spencer. Yep. And it's the only American Trappist, Trappist. Trappist monastery in the United States. Um, and it's... Uh, the Winter Warmer. Where, it's where's that? It's in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, I think it's Massachusetts. Gosh. Okay, Spencer Massachusetts. Brewery. Yeah. Okay. You know what this smells like? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah there it is. This uh, hazy here, Hidden hidden Paradise, smells like uh, the Fall of Troy, or the Fail of Troy from... Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Beaver. Belching Beaver. Yeah, you like that beer, beer, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. This smells really good. Wow. Oh, that's great. Super mild. Ooh, can smells good. Yeah. Can smells more than it tastes. I mean, it, that taste is almost lost in uh, lost in there, but it is super soft and mouthy. Mm. Yeah, that's certainly hazy. Mm -hmm. What was your best beer, Chris? Um, I think I would go with that Simply Citra. It was just really, really good. I actually had two. I had um, two single hop IPAs. Mm -hmm. I had that, that Citra. Uh, which was a little bit hazy, that, that Simply Citra. And then I had the um, the smash at uh, Burning Beard, which was phenomenal as well. Oh, that's right. Well. Um, I think if I put those two next to one another, I'd probably... And they were both good. They were both really, really good. Um, when we were there, there was a gal that, uh, that there that was getting something made up or something. and uh, She was getting a six-pack of the Kolsch to go. Yeah, and they all do cans of it. Mm -hmm. Small crowler or whatever. Mm -hmm. No, it weren't crowlers. Those were those were they were cans, sixteen, 16 ounce, ounce cans, cans, but they were like canning them right there. So they yeah. had to be like a crowler. Yeah. yeah, you know, like yeah. they were filling them like a crowler or whatever. Yeah, because the guy was spinning them up right. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, well, it wasn't a crowler size. Oh, it was just sixteen, yeah, 16 ounce. ounce. He was just mm -hmm. canning them. Yeah. So they probably have one for a crowler and one for the regular cans if you want it. So yeah. that's where you could have got some of that juicy, mm -hmm. simply juicy or whatever it's citrus. What is it? Simply citra. I might have to uh, roll on and back up. Well, hey, I, I, I can drop you off up there. I know. I got to uh, I gotta go <laughs> pick my van up there in a few days. Hey, got that front end fixed. Whew. Good beer. Taste that, Mr. What do you think? Ooh. Yeah. I like it. You know, it's a... Easy. It's got that soft... Yeah, it's really easy drinking. Um, I don't... Had you ever heard of Embolden, Steve? No, I hadn't. Not crossed my path at all. I had. Um, I had, I had actually sent over, I think I had had one, one of their beers or, um, they're relatively, new, you know, about a year old, mm. I think at, at this point, um, coming up on, on a year, maybe right at a year. Um, I sent Steve or, uh, uh, GT over there a while ago. He was like, Hey, I'm looking for a beer in, in, uh, Miramar. I hadn't been there. I was like, Hey, these yeah. guys are making great beers. Um, did he comment on them? Yeah. He thought they were pretty solid. You know, yeah. he thought they were great. 
Well, I, you know what? I found another brewery uh, that's pretty close here, and I'm going to go check it out, and I'll let you guys know about it next time we uh, get together. But uh, I'm just going to do some investigative drinking, which I'm pretty good at, apparently. So I got that going for me, which is nice. So the uh, Embolden, um, they opened last November, mm. um, so a year ago. Oh, wow, um, tough time. It's headed by a, a pair of former teammates from Mission Brewery, uh, Cody Morris and Andrew Kelly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andrew Kelly, um, his uh, brother was brewing at Creative Creature for quite some time, and I think he just went somewhere else. Hmm. But, you know, he's the twin. Um, he was at Burning, the, the brother was at Burning Beer, then he was at Creative Creature. Okay. And, uh, I, think An- I think Andrew Kelly, I think that's who he is. Um, and I think this guy was, uh, well, I could be wrong on that, but um, no, it's great. They they also have a new motion beverages, uh, which is like a seltzer. Oh, okay. They also do seltzers hmm. in the same building, yeah. right there. And you can buy them there too. Yep. Yeah, they had four packs uh, of those as well. Sounds like next time I'm in that area. Yeah, no, it was really cool. It's a huge area, mm-hmm. really big. Like, I mean, it's like in a warehouse, but you ha- but it's like you have a big area. Like there could be a it's lot of different open. groups. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know where like a lot of breweries you go to and you almost feel like you're sitting with the the people mm-hmm. right behind you. Right. You could have a group of 12 people over here and a group of 10 people over there. I mean it felt like, you know, it's just a huge They huge had a lot area. of seating and tables right. and stuff. Yeah, it was so a really cool area. It was and they were serving up some pizza outside. The food truck. Uh pizza. trolley pizza, I think they yeah. called it. Yeah. But uh yeah, it was uh it was yes. pretty cool. We, we must have hit him at the right time because there was nobody in there during um, the work day. Yeah, the, uh, the, the one brewer had helped uh, develop the, the Ashland Hard Seltzer brand. Oh. So he, um, uh, so they, yeah, they, it's a brewery in a, in a seltzer place. We didn't get any of their seltzers, but they, uh, but I'll be, you know, like I was super excited with that beer. I was super excited to, uh, to taste the, the rest of these beers. And um, those two, you know, another, I, I'm a fan. Another nice can art. Yeah. All these cans are looking pretty decent, I think. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump up a little notch here. We're gonna jump up to a uh, double, a hazy double IPA uh, called Brave the Haze, and it's it smells fantastic. So this is their double IPA. Uh, it's a double IPA with Citra, Mosaic, and uh, New Zealand Cascade hops. Um, sounds like uh, <clears throat> these guys their their beers are. Um, around town, you know, quite a few different uh, restaurants. And restaurants, I think. Yeah, I don't know that their distribution is. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I would call something out that I haven't tasted yet, unless I, I knew it was going to be pretty, you know, pretty good at sure. a restaurant or something like that. Um, kind yeah, of stick I with some. I stick with some of the ones I like that are that are there at least. I usually go with something new, something small. Well, depending on if you're, you know, if you're traveling or whatever, you know. Um, I'm always excited to find something small, like a small brewery, and mm-hmm. not like, like we go to, um, you know, a lot of restaurants and be like, hey, it's Sweetwater 420 or whatever. You know, you were in Atlanta or whatever. You know, you're like, ah, <laughs> oh, no, I want something like crafty. You know, like something small or, for example. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'd be super excited to catch something like this on uh, on tap. Now I would, especially that lager and that. Uh First hazy. This one haven't jumped into it yet. Smells good. So not not quite as hazy as yeah, the. Yeah, smells uh, milder. Tastes is mild too. Yeah, eight percent. That's trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You won't know it until it hits you. Oh man. Yeah, that's really really light drinking. Good stuff. Perfect to share. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's uh certainly a decent. Uh, you want to split that can, I would imagine. I mean, you don't have to, but. Fortune flavors the bo- or favors the bold. Hmm. I guess is there a uh, yeah cool can art like yeah. the uh, I certainly like that. It's probably somebody here locally, maybe. Looks good. I like it. Tastes great. Yeah. Um, three for three. No, yeah, that's. Uh, um, I certainly, I, man, I really like that. Brave the haze. That was mm-hmm. uh, that was a tasty beer in that uh, um, Mexican lager. The lager was. You, uh, yeah. You're going to be uh, drinking some lagers tonight. Mexican lagers over there at. I'll, uh, I'll have a couple if they allow me. Yeah. Make, make some decent lagers. Make the kids drive. The old. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out to the uh, taco place there. Mission Valley. Yeah. Supposed to be some of the best lagers in town. You'll have to tell us how they. Uh, I've, had their, I've had the lager there before. It is good. Mm. Yeah. I, I used to drink, I think, the. Uh, uh, gosh. Gordon, we, oh yeah, Gordon like the Gordon Bush, we always have yeah, 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 yeah. 
Did you get the uh, oh, you're going the Marzen? Isn't that what you? The yeah. Marzen is what I got. Yeah, so it was we have ready. <laughs> so good. it was so good. Yeah, you should ask him to spin you up a Marzen. <laughs> <laughs> Just start listing <laughs> Gordon Beer Spears. He uh, that guy's what? You still got my mug over there on the wall. <laughs> yeah, that was mm. good beer. That was really tasty. Mm. That hidden paradise. Um, I think I'd go uh, so far. I'd go brave the haze. I think. Uh, Beyond Borders and then Hidden Paradise. And obviously, you know, I mean, I, I, I want to get my, I want to put that out there now because usually uh, the lead horse, usually. you know, uh, the You're, band everybody came to see. Yeah. The, what are the, the main, the main, main attraction. Lander. Yeah, the main attraction. What do you got, Charlie? I got a West Coast IPA. I'm smiling here. Clear you know, intentions. Yeah. He can barely hold himself back. So it's going to be uh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got. They got, a, they got a West Coast IPA with Simcoe, Amarillo, and Mosaic Hops. Uh, let's see. So uh, just looking online, it looks like people, you know, purchased this at Trader Joe's or, um, you hmm. know, a few, uh, uh, few, different, few different spots. I wonder so if maybe it's some a Frasier. Frasier? I haven't seen it there they last time I They have some time pretty good beers over at, at Frasier. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was over there today purchasing some cheeses. Cheese. They're making the... Smells great, Chris. Is it, was it their cheese, or is it they just um, bought some cheese? Just bought some cheese and doing mm -hmm. it. Cheese curds. Doing some, uh, doing a charcuterie. Mm. Those burgers last night were amazing. Were they pretty good? Yeah. They look great. Pub uh, burgers. Golly. The fish, they're, he gave me four of them. Okay. Uh -huh. what, I, what kind of burger was it? They're called a pub burger, and they're, you know, like... Where'd they come three from? Three quarters of an inch thick. He Where? gets them over at Albertsons. Uh huh. Hmm. And they got like cheese curds, and bacon, and jalapenos in them and stuff. This is Albertsons? Yeah. Right. Yeah, they're, they're already like pre made. Steve, yeah, they're pre made. Steve are like racing <laughs> Albertsons with yeah, this. Yeah, it uh, sounds really good. But anyways, <laughs> I grilled them up and I'm, <laughs> I, I, I texted him a picture and I said, I kind of feel like I let you down. I only ate three of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like a half a pound a piece. Yeah. You know, they're pretty good, huh? Oh colon busters but uh oh, yeah they are oh, delicious well, in that case i know where i'm going <laughs> they are delicious and it was you know they were great and he, he insisted on me putting jeff my neighbor jeff says insisted i put american plastic wrap sliced cheese yeah you really? know on them so i did and they were great i ate with the fourth one for lunch today so there you go. i've cleaned it out it's uh it's on its way so it's they were fantastic i mean the ones last night were better because I grilled the buns a little bit. And mm. Just nothing on them. I don't even put anything on them. That's how good they are. What do you think of that beer there, Charlie? I haven't tasted it yet. Oh, really? I was holding off until the expert let me know. Oh, I, uh, I, haven't, I haven't tried it either. Mm. What do you think, Steve? This is really good. We hear what Chris says. What do you think? It's all right. A little, all right? A little maltier than yeah. I think I normally yeah. like. Not as much um, on the tongue afterwards. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah. That's a jump out and bite you, Malty. Yeah, the uh, little maltier than I. Uh, I think I like the. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of just the hop forward. What are they? That's a lot of hops too. What do they Maybe got in there? What are they? What are they hiding in there? That's high octane. Amarillo, Simicone, and Mosaic. Simico. Yeah, I. I'm, you lost me there on the West Coast. You weren't a big fan. No, nah, I'm just. I mean, the bitter end is just not there for me anymore. Yeah, and this is not bitter at the end. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's. Not it is to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I think, uh, yeah, I know. I mean, some people, you know, some people just got to, like, stick with the hazies, you know. No, I'm, I'm, the and lager was really the, good, uh, too. The lager was excellent. That lager was phenomenal. Well, both the hazies were great, too, mm -hmm. but, I mean, I just think it's better yeah. than this. You know, but the, there's people that love that, I'm sure. Sure. Right, that love a West mm -hmm. Coast IPA. I like a, like a, like a thin, like, not as much, not as malty yeah. of a, of a West Coast. I don't, you know, I mean, I... It's like pizza, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'll eat it all. Like whether it's at like yeah. if it's the you know at Seven Eleven or uh, oh. Buena Frechetta, yeah. you know. You're, like I thought you all. were. A, I thought you were a uh, more of a Seven Eleven sushi guy. Yeah, yeah, gas station sushi or, <laughs> or day old mm -hmm. sushi is is normally my specialty. But yeah. the uh, <laughs> we had a retirement party at work this week, and it was at Stone Brewery in Liberty Station, and just oh, having yeah. Stone off the tap at the brewery yeah. it's so good it's so good. It's much yeah. different it's isn't so it? much different so if you get a chance to go down to the brewery 
go there instead of opening it. <laughs> well, it is really, really good. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I, I wanted a, a full 15 gallon keg of that uh, King Sioux. Mm -hmm. And he goes, Right now they're not available. And I'm like, ah. She goes, But I can get you the six, you know, uh, one of the sixtals is what they call them. Mm. Um, and I'm like, well, how many can I get? And he goes, as many as you want. <laughs> Why don't you get like a king sue and like a pseudo sue, like a double dry hop pseudo sue or something? I just can't drink that much pseudo sue. I mean, I, I mean, like Steve it. Steve could. But that king sue is, I mean, I can pour that every good. day. It is good. I mean, maybe I will. Once I, once I drain one, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. tell him I need the pseudo sue. So I have king and pseudo right next to each other. Yeah, you can do the uh, the comparison. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they're good. That's there's. It's kind of crazy thing. that you can get a keg of that from from Iowa. I know. There, yeah. that brewery is huge and beautiful. Yeah, yeah. and like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, there. You yeah. know, I mean, there's a lot of land in Iowa. Yeah, yeah. right. Like a lot of like well, the the, like, the, 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 ki the artwork for the sh for that show that we did with them. Uh -huh. Has the a couple of pictures from the brewery. And oh yeah, I, I put it on the YouTube channel thing. It's like just how big it, huge it was. Yeah, it's it's a really really big brewery. It's a beautiful facility. They, yeah, there's a lot they, of room there. They, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, they're uh, they're distributed around the majority of America now. I yeah, think as they should be. You know what? I they have it. At, they have pseudo Sioux at uh, Valley Farms and at uh, Bebbo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you huh. can get it at any time. I mean, it's just available. It's a decent beer. And that's my uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to mm -hmm. it. No, but I, I did get two of the Sixtals, so I'm going to have them both flowing. Mm -hmm. So whenever the first one dies out, I'll just tap the other one and go at it. Yeah, I did pick up some of that uh, uh, Kentucky cold snack. Yeah. From, um, beverages and more. It's tasty. I got yeah. some of that, too. Keep that around yeah. the uh, something light. Yeah, uh, you can't keep it around. It's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it's like party cups. It's like <laughs> four days, it's gone. It goes quick. <laughs> the uh, so here we are, guys. We uh, mm. we had the four beers, right? We started off with the uh, the Mexican lager, or the Baja lager, the the Beyond Borders. And then we hit them with that uh, Hidden Paradise, the hazy IPA. Followed that with the Brave, the Haze, hazy double IPA, and ended with that Clear Intentions. West Coast IPA. Where'd they fall for you, Charlie Hughes? Uh, probably in the same way they did um, at any time. <laughs> it's going to be uh, the lager, then the uh, first hazy, second hazy, and then the West Coast is the third. Fourth, fourth runner up. Lager second, mm -hmm. first hazy. So you went the way. No, the, lager first. Yep. The the way we drank them. This, yeah, yeah, the, the exact way, same order we drank the them. The way we drank them. Yeah. How about, how about you, Steve? I'm gonna go the lager, the first hazy, then the IP, the West Coast, and then the double didn't do too much for me. Me and Steve are, are gonna hit them, hit them the same way. You're in the Ball same the category. Lager. Yeah, but you know, I, I think that uh, um, I like the hazy IPA better than the. Uh, I really like the, the smell Coast. of this, but I just don't like the end of it. Yeah, the um, and the, the hazy IPA didn't, uh, or the the hazy double didn't didn't really do it for me, but that that lager. And that hazy IPA was great. And the um, man, the the single hop, the uh, simply Citra that I had had. Game. That that wasn't bottled. That wasn't in cans. I didn't look for it. I didn't we had, see it. But you could have got a had, growler for it. If you um, or you know, we probably could have got the can. Custom yeah, the can for you. Wait. Um, yeah, because they they show a bunch of beers on, on their. They're their like their black page. label cans, mm -hmm. so they're not yeah, all yeah. this fine art fine stuff. Art. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, if you look at like what they. Um, gosh, and they're just reasonably priced, you know, like Heck you yeah. half, they do full pours, half pours, uh, you know, five, 10, 16 ounce pours. Um, let's see, sours, specialty beers, like hard kombuchas, hard seltzers. Yeah. This artist for the cans is pretty good. This, the West coast has also got the upside down part. So it's like, do so you have like, his name on there? No, I can't tell. I need to figure that out though. The artiste. Yeah. It's weird they don't have a little mark on there of their own. If they do. It's really small. But yeah, you can order. A, so so right now, like even you know for California shipping, you can get a lot of their beers like right on uh, um, a lot of the the beers and seltzers. Yeah, they had a ton of those. They did. They had a quite a bit of. Uh, hmm. now, man, I'll tell you. Um, you know, before we close, I, I last week uh, I think you know after our show, I I ran out. Me and I. Uh, I mean, my daughter went to uh, 
June Shine. Man, that was awesome. Okay, it was in, it's in the old um, uh, Ballast Point building, the original, mm-hmm. like the or not the not the original, but the, when they moved up Miramar Oak, Oak Old Grove mm-hmm. or whatever. It, I think it's on Old Grove. Super cool, you know. I mean, it's a big place. It is a big place. Yeah. So they, you know, a lot of seating outside. Uh, great food. That was awesome. Super cool. Yeah, little flight of kombucha. And that's all kombucha. Yeah, they had all kombucha. No, you know what? They had some. I don't. They, I think they did have some beers. Um, they had some some guest taps. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was a really cool area. It's, Hor- you know, they have Horace on tap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, they didn't have Horace. <laughs> no, there, they did. Was have there some. food though? There is. Yeah. So they also have like a. Mm. Um, I want to say it was like, I want to say it was like Vietnamese influenced, mm-hmm. um, but we didn't, I mean, we got like chicken stri- you know, like they had gluten free coconut chicken strips. Mm-hmm. So like that was, you know, like anytime my family sees like gluten free, like that's it. You know, the chicken strips, right. are you kidding me? Like somebody else is going to make us chicken strips. Perfect. Burning beer. So that's kind of what we all did. Burning Beard has some pretty good chicken strips. They do have some really good chicken strips. <laughs> really? Yeah. They do. They They're won't turn really the music good. down for you, though. You no. should have been in there when we were in there because they were playing like ABBA or something. What they, was that? They do chicken strips, and they are phenomenal. Because you guys said the burgers are good, too. The burgers, burgers are, are really good. good. Yeah, yeah. Now they have like, so now they have the, the board is up. Oh, okay. like, Full of stuff. When you yeah. walk in, you look at the, the main board mm-hmm. is, is where it is. Because I, I was like looking for the menu, right? Normally, it'd be right there on the... Mm-hmm wasn't there you gotta look like right to the left of it right mm. to the left of the main board is is uh the shakes or the the, the punk spear punks punk spear it's punk spear is the name of the, the burger place right oh, okay is that what it is i think it is uh, yeah i think it, i think that's what it is well it was good we sat there good, with uh yeah. with jim potty mouth and uh hung out had a couple of beverage it was great that was awesome had some fries and some chicken strips and it's great this so was yeah. after in boulder it was yeah so we we wow. ran a, yeah um, no, it was great. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Uh, burgers there. It's always a good time over there. This place, great. I'll yeah. certainly stop over there. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, it's a really cool atmosphere. Great beers. And, you know, they have kombucha. So anybody, like, whether they're a beer fan or, or not. Can As a matter of fact, them. give me one of those loggers over there. I'm I'll like, let you. I'm protesting into this. There like, you go. It is a lager. Doggone it. Cheers. Well, Cheers. Until next week. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.